Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about apps. I have 10 really interesting apps to share with you guys that I believe every iPhone user must have and at least try out on their device. And we're starting with the first one, which is a really interesting app. So how many times you have needed like to take a screenshot and then you need that information to be used in another app? Well, here's what I'm saying. With this app, when you take a screenshot maybe of your home screen or any other app or anything else, you can just tap the share button and then right here you will have picture in picture image. You tap there. Now what this app does, it adds a, a shortcut to your shortcuts app and then through the app you can just allow the paste right here and there we have that we have the screenshot and now if I just want to go to the calculator and I want to use some information that I had right there on the screenshot I can actually do that and do every calculation or anything else maybe take a note or anything else I want directly from here so it's pretty useful now of course it works with screenshots but it does also work with other images all you have to do is just copy the image you want to pop out on the picture in picture mode and just come into the app tab here and you're good to go the next app for the video is called text mask it allows us to mask anything you want on a screenshot or even any other random image and it's very easy to use and will make like masking and hiding everything very easy now you can see here we have the features it has like the highlights the strike the underline which are free then you will have blur and pixelate and invert and focus which are pro but again it's a not that expensive. You can get it for $1.99 a year. So if we use any of these right here, you can see we can zoom in and out. If I just want to hide something right here, I can actually do that. It's very easy. So if I just want to hide these prices, that's what I can do. Just go ahead, tap right there. You can see it does that automatically. Now, of course, I can undo here. If I just want to delete something, I can go ahead and erase it from there. And then also I can go ahead and change, of course, the color with which I want to basically hide this text. The same goes for the highlight here. You can just tap on any text. Anything will be automatically detected by the app. Now, once you're done with all this, all you have to do, tap the share button. You can just go ahead and save the image with the result. Control bar is the next app for the video. It allows us to have way more controls for your music whether using Spotify or Apple Music. So you will have your controls which you can actually customize right there at your dynamic island or even on your lock screen. So we are playing music here and we have a bunch of different controls right there that allow us to actually control the music. So the app does connect with Spotify, as I said, and also Apple Music. And you can even customize the app. So when you go here, you will have your controls and you can customize the look of it right here. But if you tap the edit button, then you will have here the selected options Then you will have all the other options that you can add. So you will have a bunch of different options that you can add to that control. Once you're done, you tap on save and then you will have them right there on the dynamic island as well as your lock screen. Next up is Radio Garden. If you like to listen to radio, this is the app for you. Now this app is actually pretty cool. You open the app and this is what you will see. Basically, you get the globe here and all these green dots are radios. You can just go ahead and browse and just listen to different radios around the world. You can just zoom in on any city or any country you want and find different like radios to listen to by the explore section right here. Now, of course, once you like one, you can just go ahead and favorite it and you will find them under your favorites right here. Then you can browse here through the map. You can search also by name. So if you just want to search for like a specific radio, you can do that right here. So you can, of course, search by radio name or city or country. So a very cool and very nice app to have. It also will show you your radios from your location. All you have to do is, of course, enable location and services and tap right there. But really interesting, again, maybe listening in your car or anywhere else. You can just listen to any radio in the world. Next up is an app called Write. Now, with Write, 
all you have to do is just write down here what you want to search and you will have here a bunch of different options like if i want to search on wikipedia or twitter or on google images anything can be done from here so if i want to search on youtube just tap right there it takes me right to youtube as easy as this now what you can do also here is add other platforms where you want to search so you will have your title url and of course you will have your advanced peak url right there you add these and you can just go ahead and search simply by typing anything you want here now you can also use the camera so if you want to do that you enable it right here and then you will be able to even use the camera to search on any of these platforms directly from your keyboard Image Drain is the next app for the video. This app is pretty useful as it allows you to download all the images from a certain website. Now the way you do it is pretty simple. You open the website and then simply tap the share button. Down here you will find Image Drain. You tap on it and all you have to do now is just simply select all the different images that you want to download. Once you have done that you can just tap the download button right there. And there you go. Now you have saved all of these images under your camera roll as easy as that. The next app for the video is called Live Scan. Now with Live Scan, you will be able to actually scan multiple things. Like I can go ahead and scan text right here, which is really useful. And you can see everything will be right here. So you can choose actually what you want to scan you can scan a barcode if you want to you can scan text and within text you will have different things like a url if you want to specify this you can scan for a url photos emails or addresses anything you want to scan maybe out of a business card you can do that easily directly from here and of course copy it and save it anywhere you want now the app is free to download and you will have a few free uses but then you will have to pay a premium to actually completely use the features the next one is file converter now this one is a simple app yet it is very useful i know there are a ton of file converters on the app store but with this one you can actually convert pretty much anything on your iphone like from images here you can see a ton of different formats that you can actually convert from and to with this app you will have all kinds of like documents here from pdfs to words excel and all that stuff you will have the books you will have the vectors here and the cad as well so anything you want to convert pretty easy go ahead and select an image maybe that you want to convert from here you just choose to what you want to convert it you can choose basically another format directly from here and anything will actually be able to be done here any format you want tap on convert you're good to go you can download the converted files save it to your files app or even save it to your camera roll contact photo is the next one now with the latest updates on ios 17 apple has added of course the new contact photos and they pretty much all will be looking the same unless you create one with this app so right here you will have all kinds of different presets now once you pick one all you have to do is of course pick it it will show you where you need to place the name where you need to place the image so there we have the image let's go ahead and just pick one so there we have the image of course we can resize it zoom in and out and then we also have all the other stuff like the bottom fade right there we have the name at the top so right here we have saved one but we can of course go ahead and edit this anytime we want if we want to change the name right there we can go ahead and do that we have here different frames that we can add we have the bottom fade which we can also change here so it was a solid one you can add like a fade so it's pretty cool so once you're actually done with all this stuff you can just just go ahead and tap on save what this will do is that it will actually save this as an image on your camera roll and you can just go ahead and assign the image to your contact and you're good to go and last but not least we have a pretty cool app that you can actually only use within the iMessage app it is Polet. it's this app right here it allows you to actually add polls to your conversations so let's say you're having here a group conversation you can just go ahead and send uh, these polls right here so you just simply add any like question you want 
and of course the answers here. And then once you're done with all that, you can just simply go ahead and send the poll. And of course you and your friends can actually vote here. It will show you the number of votes here for each of the different options. And you can simply find out what you wanna do or what you're eating by simply adding this poll. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and the apps. If you wanna try out any of these apps, make sure to check out the pinned comment. You will find all the links there. So thank you guys for watching the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one.